Hello, I'm Fernando from Cisco Tag Switching Team. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a stack-wise virtual link on a Catalyst 9500 high-performance switch. First of all, let's remember some considerations. Both switches in Cisco Stackwise Virtual Pair must be directly connected to each other, running the same iOS version and same license level. The ports for SVL must share the same speed. One gig interfaces are not supported. The Stackwise Virtual Configuration will be recognized only with Network Advantage license. For more information, here is the official Cisco link. Are you ready for this? Let's do it. As first step, identify the interfaces you will use for SVL and connect them. Then, in global configuration mode, we will enable the Cisco Stackways virtual mode and create the domain ID on each switch. The domain ID should be the same for both switches. The range ID is from 1 to 255. Once the SVL and domain ID were enabled at both switches, we proceed to exit from global configuration mode, save the configuration, and reload the switch. Once the reload has finished, prompt to the switch again and continue with the link configurations. Now, with show CDP neighbors command, we will validate the interfaces ID and proceed to configure the ports with stackwise virtual link 1 in order to associate them in SVL. Well, after configuring stackwise virtual ports for both switches, we proceed to exit from global configuration mode, save the configuration, and reload the switches once again. Finally, we can confirm with show switch and show stackwise virtual link commands if the active and standby switches are up and ready in SVL. Now, the switch is ready to use. Please visit Cisco channel for more video content. Thank you for watching.